if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. And the whole point of this video was to to get you to think about like how you can diagnose, uh, you know, what is actually happening. Now this, ac actually, I'm gonna extend this a little bit further. Let's do a little bit of bonus footage. So on the DL650, because that bike turned over and it ran, it, you know, and it would run, but it made crazy noise. The story was the customer ran out of oil. I knew that buying it. So it is what it is. But one of the things that I was teaching Sterling is the whole process of what how to wrench does on the work order as far as like how deep we diagnose something when we have capabilities what were some of those tests you did do you remember uh we did a leak or we started with a spark test then we did a compression test oh shit we should tell people see this just keeps getting better and better right yeah you've got to go check out this video on this tool that came from australia on spark testing safe um it's coming out join the channel you're gonna see it then you said what? We did a uh, spark, and then I thought we did compression, but I know we did the uh, coolant uh, check. Um, and then we did a radi or we did we checked the radiator and the coolant, and then we got into um, the compression test and then a leak down test. Yeah, so we did a lot. So the way how to wrench diagnosis a vehicle, would you say is pretty in depth? Uh, completely. You yeah. check everything you can before you take anything apart to see if there's any other problems aside from what you think you know or what someone else has told you. Do you remember how many times like we were working on it and I'm like, stop thinking, like, let's just deal with the facts. Yeah. And we were talking about that. We were like, cause you're, you're a brilliant gun guy, right? So your analytical brain was on fire. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 stop. Let's just deal with the facts. Yeah. Because what we didn't want to do is start to induce potential problems that don't exist, right? <clears throat> so we said, hey, let's just go with the facts of what we can find out from testing. So we did spark testing. We found out, do we have spark? If you can uh, check this out here, do we have spark? Yes or no, good front and rear. Uh, our compression test front 150, rear 160, which we found out uh, the battery charger actually wasn't plugged in. Yeah. So these numbers are probably even better. Uh, leak down. Uh, shooting 90 into it, uh, we were getting 45 and 30s, horrible. We had crazy leak down numbers. You have to check out the video we've got. Uh, maybe I could drop a little clip in here of where the, I was doing the soapy water test yeah. and showing it just exploding out, right? And then uh, the coolant, um, it wouldn't hold. So we had not only, the cooling was a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, because it seemed like it was good at first. And then it just started to slowly leak more and more and more. And uh, I think we hunted for a while to try to find that leak. Yeah, and we were unsuccessful in yeah. finding it, but we know that it leaks. So that means we got work to do, exactly. right? Uh, the downside to the coolant leak that we had means it's internal. Now we got a you know 40 some thousand mile motor. Hopefully it's just a very, very slight head gasket leak or something like that. But the reality of it is, is good's good and bad's bad. Exactly. If I put this motor back together and had never checked spark and it didn't have spark, now I'm gonna be going like, oh, did it even need rebuilt? Or what was the deal? Like you just get yourself into all kinds of trouble. So when you do deep diagnosis and you verify everything you can, it's killer because the work order shows we physically proved it had spark front and yep. rear. We already know the cooling system will not hold. So now we're gonna spend a lot of time looking at the ceiling surfaces, the passages, because we already know like, hey, there's something wrong because the radiator itself appeared to be good. But I, I told you about a video I made last summer where I show how to pressure test the radiator under, mm -hmm. you know, under a fluid. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and we'll actually do those tests on the radiator. Okay. We tested the cap. We test, you know, thermostats we're going to test uh, once we get apart. But that that's just a way to be sure and not be guessing. Exactly. Yeah, cool stuff. What do you think of the shop? Oh, I, this is like a dream. <laughs> this would be, uh, honey, I'm leaving you. I'm going to go live in a shop. <laughs> you better not say that. Your wife's watching you. <laughs> I, I don't know. She, she already knows it. <laughs> this, the shop is pretty sick. Uh, we're pretty stoked. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. You know, DL650, R6, GSXR, you can hop around the corner. And, oh, I don't know, should we just show them the new R6? Yeah. This thing's, uh, it, it got banged up. <laughs> it got banged up. It's a little bent. 
you know, uh, Sterling gets first option to uh, buy this one. He's got some sentimental value back on it. We just want as a spare bike for the track bike. Uh, you know, we've been doing a lot of dirt bike riding. We got the Chapa. We got the Chapa. Oh, hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I've never seen something like that before. I think I know the guy that built that. You, you probably do. Okay. I'm going to shoot that for the first time where I've never shot one of those. I'm super stoked. It's going to be cool uh, inventory. Go ahead and try and come through that front door. <laughs> uh, yeah, we like motorcycles here. If you haven't been on the channel before, it's pretty stinking cool. Uh, this is going to be fun, too. And you said that. You said that. It's road. fun. I've had it started. Hey, I say we go check out uh, Sterling's riding ability and check out his tire wear from his <laughs> Moto Gymkhana. Dang! Full knobs. Look at You could see... You can see right where you got to. You might have done better than me on this thing. I had a video of me crashing on this earlier. And we ran out, we get to the last knob on that one, and then you get to the Continentals. And those things are ripping all the way to the edge. Super, super fun. And then tomorrow, we're gonna take a fun day. We're gonna go shooting, we're gonna play with that, and then we're gonna get out on the uh, 1098 Ducati and the DL1000 uh, street bikes, and we're gonna go enjoy some beautiful, beautiful Arizona. Oh yeah, so excited, love it here. Hey, I wanna, I, I wanna say I appreciate you as a member, appreciate you as a customer, and I appreciate you as a friend, so thanks oh, for thank coming. thank you very much. All right, well, hey, we're gonna call it a night. We have done a lot of work, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got anything you wanna comment, like, share, all that stuff below, please do so. But as always, my friends, make it a great day and keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real uh, explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world, over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to uh, help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's going to go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're going to get the deep dive videos. Two, you're going to get access to member only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth uh, Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community has always been about helping each other and uh getting those answers to the questions we need i mean you, you gotta remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that i'm trying to do so we, we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this of a community that is, is more attentive. So we want to be more relationship focused. That's a big thing of the memberships. The other thing is, uh, YouTube does this, I think it's kind of funny, but uh, we're doing the emojis. So if you're a new member, it's going to be a green one. We kind of went along the lines of like uh, training does in most uh, certification programs. Bronze is your entry level, uh, silver is your middle of the road, and then gold is your you know top certified. But we added one more. We added a red one just to say, hey, thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while. So for all you that love that kind of stuff, hey, it's there for you. Um, what else are you going to get with this? What you're going to get is really honestly, in, in my opinion, it's really a way just to say thank you. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I, I got a full-time job. Like, I do this and have always done this on my own buck. All these expenses are my own. Uh, as I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. We got a building, insurance, uh, you know, it, we got everything. So uh, it costs a lot to be able to do all this. And we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. I hope you thought, man, that's really a great idea. 
Uh, look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you and what attracts you. It's a great way to get some uh, discounts on merchandise as well too. But hey, we are going to get back at it. We're super excited about this. We're just already going to start moving forward making content that's member only. So those, those videos we were just talking about. But my friends, Whatever you're doing, be safe. We know 2020 has been a crazy year out there. So I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.